In this lesson, we're going to look at the design process, including floor plans, elevations, sketches, and renderings. Floor plans. In scenic design, a floor plan is a drawing done to scale, showing a view from above. It shows the spatial relationship between furniture, walls, and entrances and exits. A scaled floor plan helps the director with blocking because it indicates possible traffic patterns within the design. A floor plan also outlines the various levels on the stage and indicates the placement of scenery, doors, windows, and other necessary scenic elements. Elevations. An elevation is a drawing that shows the front or side of something. A floor plan, by contrast, just shows the space from above. An elevation gives you a chance to see something from a different view. Elevation drawings are specific type of drawings that designers use to help illustrate the visual environment. Elevations are also drawn to scale. They show measurements and any architectural detail you want to include in your design. Preliminary sketch. A preliminary sketch, also called a thumbnail drawing, is a quick black and white drawing usually done in perspective to show your director your initial concept. This gives you an opportunity to discuss the design with the director and make any changes that are needed before moving on to the final rendering. Final rendering. A final rendering is done in perspective, shows color, and all the details that you would see on stage. Often you include two actors or figures in the drawing to give it a sense of scale. The final rendering gives the artistic team and the actors a visual representation of what the design will be like before rehearsals and construction begins. Let's move on and draw some elevations. Here we have a five foot wall that you might see on a floor plan. All right, let's draw a front elevation in half inch scale. This wall is five feet wide by 10 feet high. You'll use your T-square and your triangles and you'll also include the extension lines, the dimension lines, and the measurement. Now we'll draw an elevation with a doorway in it. The width of this is six feet wide, and we're also gonna draw this 10 feet high. Now I'll add the door opening, which is three feet wide by seven feet high. You can see from the floor plan that it's one foot six in on either side. Include your extension lines, your dimension lines, and your measurements. For today's exercise, we're going to draw elevations of a small interior set in 3 8 inch scale. This floor plan shows flats A, B, C, and D. A has a window in it, and D has a doorway in it. In this floor plan, I've supplied the measurements for the width of each wall, while A is 5 feet wide, B 2 feet wide, C is 3 feet wide, and D is 6 feet wide. I've also supplied the measurements for the position of the window in wall A and the doorway in wall D. The height of the walls will be 10 feet. We will also add details such as a cornice molding, a chair rail, and a baseboard 
as well as a casing around the window and the door. Here I'm showing you the relationship between the walls, and I'm also giving you a perspective view of the interior set. Before you begin, let's take a closer look at the elevations. I've supplied all of the dimensions you will need in order to complete this assignment. At the top of the set, I put a 9-inch cornice molding. In the middle is a 3-inch chair rail molding. And on the bottom, a 6-inch baseboard molding. The casing around the door and the window is 4 inches. A copy of this handout will be in Blackboard for your reference after this video. The following is a time-lapse video of drawing these elevations in 3 8 inch scale using this floor plan. A copy of this floor plan will also be in Blackboard after this video. Using 8.5 by 11 inch paper, and I'll begin by doing a half inch border and a title block. To begin the elevation, I'll draw a baseline on the bottom, and at 10 feet, I'll draw another one at the top. I've spaced out the flats two feet apart in order to fit them all on this page. I start by using light plotting lines, and then I'll go back and verify the shapes of the final walls. Here I'm plotting out the window based on the measurements in the handout. I'm also putting the 4 inch casing around the window and the door. I'm marking up the measurements of the cornice molding, the chair rail molding, and the baseboard. Now I'll lightly put in my extension lines, my dimension lines, some guidelines, the measurements, and then I'll verify and then add the arrows. I'll do the same with the height of the flat, the height of the doorway, the widths, and I'll add all of the measurements. Here you'll notice I'm adding the measurements of the window on the right side of the flat instead of the left, like in the handout. It doesn't really matter, as long as the measurements are there. Add some details to the window. I didn't give you any measurements for that, so come up with something. Now I'll finish it off by putting guidelines in my title block and putting all the information for the drawing. Oh, almost forgot the measurements for the molding. You've now completed your first set of elevations for a small interior set.